welcome back to my channel. It's Lindsay. I hope you guys are having a great day. So today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I edit my Instagram photos. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, it is at lindsayjordanyt, but you guys should do that. A lot of you guys have been asking me how I get my theme or how I edit my pictures. I don't really feel like my theme is that great, but you guys seem to really like it. I would say that it's like a brighter toned theme and that I like to have a cool tone in my photos and I like to have the blues kind of like featured. Don't forget to thumbs up this video if you guys like watching these kind of videos. Without any further ado, let's just jump into how I edit my Instagram pictures. Okay, so first off, I'll just show you guys what my Instagram looks like. Um, so this is it, at LindsayJordanYT, go follow me, a little self promo. So like I said, I definitely have like a bluish thing going on. Um, I would say like the blues and greens are very prominent, but other than that, I pretty much photograph whatever I feel like. Um, I just kind of edit them all the same way, so now I'll show you guys how I do that. So the app I use is this first one right here, it's called Visco. So for the sake of this video, I'm going to show you guys how I edited this picture right here of these flowers that I went to Trader Joe's that one morning. A lot of you guys liked the way that that was edited, so I figured I would show you. So the first thing I do is I go to the filters section, and I always use, use this HB2 one. And then I bring it down probably to like 8, honestly. If my face isn't in it, I like to have pretty high filter. So after that, it is time to go to these little tools. Sometimes I will bump up the contrast 1. I think that looks good, so I will keep that. And then I always go to the temperature tool right here. And I bring that down 1 or 2, usually just 1. And that always makes the blues and the cool tones of the photo really shine through as opposed to the warmer tones and I usually like that in my photos. I also go to the shadows tool all the way at the end right over here and I make that blue and bring it down to like three or four. So not that much but it definitely again adds in that like bluey look to the photos. So I will save that. And then sometimes I take the tint tool and put that up to one but I don't really think that this photo specifically needs that. So I will save it, and that is it for these flowers. So that's what it looked like before. It's really bright and warm and stuff, and then after all the filters, it looks like that. So then I just go up and press the little check mark to save it, and I would upload it to Instagram, but I already Instagrammed that picture, so I won't do that today. I don't really have anything else to say about Instagram. Don't forget to follow me if you want to see my photos and all that fun stuff, and I will see you guys next time in my next video. I love you guys very much. Have a great day. Bye!